Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Toon Talk. This is episode 27, Wait, I believe. Has there ever been a Red Wing? It's been 27. I think oh, Aaron my. Ward. Oh, my oh, God. We're not doing this every week. We're just, we're just not going to do we're, I'm just going to put the kibosh on that right so now. I feel like he was like seven. 27, the playoff edition of Toon Talk. <laughs> The only. Uh, uh, yeah, so we're going to keep try and keep the energy up this week, but uh, got to be honest with you, boys. We're all gonna dying be, underneath this. It's going to be a struggle. <laughs> going to be a struggle. Like the face of depression of America. We're smiling on the outside and dying on the inside. Yep. It's so, filling up your car with gas right now. Nah. You have to do it. <laughs> nope. You have to record the podcast, but God damn it, I won't be happy about it. <laughs> Never easy to talk, especially after a season-ending loss. Yeah. Is there anything you guys want to talk about before we get to the game recap? Nope, that's it. Uh, we'll see you next week. This All right. Is- All right. <laughs> Bye, everybody. That's the best episode of Toon Talk we've done, boys. Holy Make sure shit. you like and subscribe. Hey, yeah, please like and subscribe. <laughs> and as hey, always, more you great I content. Will say, I will say on a good note. Oh, wait, uh, yeah. Our last last you want me to check episode. It? Here, hold on. Let me check. This isn't, this isn't a stat check, by the way. This doesn't count as a stat check. But we are going to check how many views we had in our last episode. We're going to pump our own tires because we need the boy. The boys on the show need a little <laughs> need a little boost. Yeah, one hundred and sixteen views. Nice. There we go. I don't Open know. Business, I don't know how one hundred and sixteen people have watched our last episode. And you know, in a, in a, in a, in a, why don't we have one hundred and sixteen followers? You know, that's a great. Yeah, we only have seventy followers or subscribers. Come on, come on. What are we doing? And we love, we love all of you that watch the episode. We love you. You're our number one fan. You, you're listening. You watch. You're our number one fan. No, not you, Tim. Oh. Um, But why aren't you subscribed? (laughs) It's so easy. It's so easy. No, Connor. Connor, Connor, this is is, nope. This is negative, Connor. We know we're this. (laughs) No, this isn't negative, Connor. Okay, sorry. It's so, guys, so, guys, this is this is, this is forward Connor. This isn't <laughs> yeah. defense Connor right now. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was telling Garrett before we started recording, I was like, my entire demeanor is completely different when I play on the A-League team versus when I play on the, the Goonie Tunes. When I play on the A-League team, we have a couple guys that like do most of the yelling. So I'm able to just kind of like sit back and like keep the boys positive and motivated. So I think we just need someone to be mean on the Goonie Tunes and then I'll be more positive. So, so I don't who's, know. who's gonna take that ball and the real question is, do we want someone besides Connor? Probably Bice. You want Bice yeah. to be mean? Yeah, Bice, can't, like, Bice can't be mean. Bice. Bice can't be mean. I don't think he can do it. Um, Bice, Bice has actually never written a single ticket. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, it looks like another warning for you, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> you were going 100 miles an hour, but, eh, you know. Yeah. Just go slower next time. Um. All right, let's just get into this shit. I don't want to get this over with. What a shitty game. God damn yeah, it. Yeah, it's a tough one. God damn it. I don't know if we like expected just like, expected to beat them or we just like kind of came in like half ready. Uh, but Reader said it well after the game. He said it looked like the whole team was just like skating in quicksand. Yeah. No, like everybody was just like they, moving in slow motion. And, and that might have been in part due to the fact that they had a couple guys that I knew they were missing when we played them two weeks ago who are good. Oh, yeah. The, but, the Jesus dude with the flow. Yeah. 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 Best play, he, I would, he's probably one of the best players in our league. Yeah. He's yeah, he's up there. He's up there. He's yeah. a good skater. He's a good hockey player. Um, he burned yeah. you. I think it was, yeah, it was at the end of a two and a half minute shift, Garrett. But yes, you're well, right. hey, he did. He did. They don't ask how. <laughs> you're right. You're right. I'm out there, blood, sweat, and tears trying to get the boys back in the game. And sounds like somebody needs to take shorter shifts. You're right. I should have taken shorter shifts. We were just down three goals with six minutes to go. I was trying to do what I could, and I had the only, I had an assist and a goal on our first two. So you know, what do you, what, what do you want from me? Better. I want you to do better. Yep. Okay. Well. In that case, let me give me GM control. Let me cut some fuckers. <laughs> Never gonna happen. Okay. Well, I, tried. I, I keep the wrath of God at bay. Yeah. I tried. It would be it would be a swift, it would be a swift and unjust wrath. Let me just say that. <laughs> Tim, you would still be welcome to co-host the show, but I don't know if you would be in space next year. <laughs> Our number one fan, Tim Lewis. Here. <laughs> no, no, he would he would be more than a fan. I would I would promote him to head coach. Tavis would get demoted, and Tim would be the head coach. Tim would be Tim would stand in the middle of the bench, 
and Tavis would man the offensive door and Brandon would man the defensive door. But, you know. Pace back and forth, chew on ice the entire time. That's right. And then you could yell all you wanted. That would be awesome. Right. <laughs> that would be, Garrett, we're in a win-win situation because then if Tim is the coach, he's the one yelling. I'm not yelling anymore. I'm more positive. And I hate to say it, but I play a lot better when I'm positive. But I don't yell. I don't yell. Right, but if you're the you're, coach, you have, have to. to. Yeah, hey, you're you the coach, back you're at him. To. You're telling <laughs> you me we back at Connor plenty. Hey, yeah, you do. Trying to well, cover that... 27. <laughs> no, 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 no. It was. It was. I heard you the first fucking five times. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't score though. Oh man. Oh, they didn't he didn't not score because you were on him well. He just didn't not score because Bray made a great save on him. A little bit of A, a little bit of B. It was <laughs> all it was all of B. There was none of A. Tim was standing on the sidewall just watching him in the slot. Oh man. I was cheering him on. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he just had full confidence in Bray. Yeah. Uh, oh my God. I watched yeah. that. I watched that highlight back like three times. Like, what was Tim doing right here? <laughs> I was waiting for the defense to get the puck and chip it off the glass to me. You still don't just stand still at the half wall. You got to move. You got to cover your guy. I will say that's probably on the coaching staff because that was a mismatch on, on their part. Yeah. They mismatched you. They saw you were out there and put that guy. Well, on your... they were home team, so they had last change. So yeah, sure. that's yeah. What, yeah but so I guess I guess I guess I guess hindsight, we just shouldn't have put you out there at all, so we didn't get the mismatch. <laughs> That would have been the smart one. All right, Tim, go on. All right, Tim, come back. <laughs> nope, nope, last change, last change. You got to leave him out there. <laughs> no, it oh, definitely shit. felt like they had the puck 70% of the time, though. Dude, we, could get, uh, we, we couldn't get the puck out. Yeah. It was crazy. We couldn't get the puck out, and, and it just, yeah, it is what it is. They were, yeah. they, were, they, were, they were top to bottom, probably overall a little bit of a better team. We probably had a couple, like a couple guys that could skate with their high end guys, but they didn't really have any like weak players. Oh yeah, no, they didn't. They didn't have any anybody. No, I'm not, and I'm not saying we have any weak players, but newer players to the game. I like that. That's a <laughs> that's that's a very political. Oh, very. Uh, See that? That's this is why good I'm way, a GM. Good way yeah. to good way to put yeah. it. Good with words. Good way to put it. No, I think it was it was either the first or second face off that I lined up for. The guy across me goes, "Why did you guys sell you last week when you guys?" Were no, yeah, that five? was the that was the opening draw. <laughs> that was the opening draw. Shu not asked us why 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 Embry. Well, he asked Embry why he sullied when to go up five to one. He goes this fucker sullied the shot the bow going up five to one on us last week. <laughs> I was like, beat his ass, Shu, <laughs> beat his ass. So they definitely they definitely had a little bit of chip a, a little chip on their shoulder as far as last week was going, which well, I think I mean, we I think we knew was going to happen. I mean, yeah, we yeah. beat them pretty good. Eight to one. And, you know, that's – hey, kudos to us, though. You know, we played Family PT, what, three years ago? Kicked our ass every time. I think they beat us by two just about every time we played them, except for that one time we beat them eight to one. So, yeah. improvement, improvement. I yep. guess. Yeah, you know. I just don't – I think – I just don't think we were ready to play. No, no, there's no question We came that. out. We came out. We did the classic Goonie tunes. I mean, Embry took a penalty within the first minute of the game. Yeah. So, that was rough. Uh, I don't think they scored in that power play, but they got a lot of momentum. Yeah. So they um, kind of threw our uh, our lines off. Yeah, that that we were doing a lot of between like, the penalties and just kind of getting the the right guys out there. It was it was not easy to maintain. Uh let's see what else we got. Oh, uh, so Brownie, Goblet, probably. I mean, he didn't have a terrible game, but I mean, nobody like played Nobody well and there wasn't like one bonehead play that set out above the rest but i mean it could have gone to just about anybody this week yeah yeah it is what it is but i think this is his first if i'm not mistaken this is his I, first i thought he was gonna give it to bray <laughs> i kind of did too i kind of hoped he did yeah don't worry we have two more weeks we're coming for you bray. that's true and you know what do we well, want to do we want to get to... okay we'll get to it yeah we'll get to it we'll get to it we'll get to it, yeah. we'll get to it. is that a tease uh, that's a tease. Good, good tease, Garrett. <laughs> uh, but I think this is Brownie's first interview, is it not? I believe so, yeah. First, yeah. He was out for most of the year, so this is his first uh, first interaction with – it was Buckley this weekend, correct? Yep. Okay. And so I think it was a double team. Oh, okay. Yeah, Fuckley was the boom guy this week. Ah, uh, boy, Fuckley. 
All right, so we'll uh, we'll throw it over to the Uckley brothers and uh, with Brownie, and we'll be back after that. All right, Buckley here. And Buckley. All right, with the uh, Gong Goblet uh, winner, uh, Jake Brown. Uh, that's a uh, tough loss for the Goody Tunes. Uh, thoughts? Season's over, boys. Two hey, more but... games. Season's over. No more bluffs. No more bluffs, but you know what's not over? Drinking with the boys. Okay, okay. A uh, couple questions. Fans want to know, uh, family, favorite Disney princess? I don't even know one single Disney princess. <laughs> Give me one. Give me a choice. Say, uh... Pikachu. Oh, Pikachu. Pikachu, definitely. Pikachu, okay. And then, uh, who's the Goody Tune member that's going to take your sister out? Probably Tim. I mean, easily. I, I mean, Tim apparently maybe runs the IG, and it's pretty funny. I don't know. Okay. Uh, Goody Tunes, Buckley out. Buckley, Buckley. <laughs> Thank you, Buckley. Thank you, Buckley. Excellent Buckley. job, boys. Uh, yeah, Buckley, Buckley, and Buckley, Buckley. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, I, I feel like there was a little bit of a dry interview. Eh, not no, everybody, not, 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 listen, not everybody's great in front of the camera. Okay. It is what it is. Um, Garrett, you kind of alluded to it. Uh, we took a bunch of dumb penalties this week. Yeah. Just a whole slew of dumb penalties. Um, we, they took a penalty with 30, like 30 seconds to go in the first period. Yeah. Checking from behind. Yeah. Absolutely crushed you. Oh yeah. My I next, will say. I went to a chiropractor today. They were like, what the hell did you do? On, yeah. I'm, yeah. Okay. Right here. It was a little bit, a little bit. I'm not. I don't want to call it. A, I don't want to use the D word, but it was close. What's the D word? Oh, die fuck! No, that guy creeped me. Okay, okay. <laughs> you sprang off that board like it was a trampoline. Hey, you know what? My neck <laughs> catapulted me off the boards. It, it, the, the only real part, like if I would have known the guy was behind me, I, I don't think it would have happened. Like I wouldn't have like sprang off the board like that. But I had, I had no clue he was right there because. Oh, was, so you were nice. You were you were nice. And, you were you were you were nice and loose then. Oh, I was loose as shit. <laughs> Thank God, though. I mean, it had I tightened up, maybe it would have been worse. Because I was tangled up with a guy out front. And I knew he was over my right shoulder, so I was looking over my right, and he just came out of nowhere on my left and just smack. Con- Connor, let me ask you this: Who spring off the boards uh, harder, Garrett last game or John when he fell down? John when he put- kicked off. <laughs> Because John's planning on he's trying to get yeah. out. I gotta be honest. I think Garrett may have springed off faster. I don't know, man. I, yeah. I wasn't so I wasn't planning on putting that in the game recap because like it's you know it's whatever. But when I saw you spring off the boards like that, I was cracking up laughing and I had to put yeah. it into the highlight. So oh yeah, no, man, I get great. But okay, so anyway, so five minute five minute major going into the third second period, we're like, all right, we're down one. Let's stack our lines, let's get a couple here, let's get a lead. And we did. No, we didn't. Yes, we did. Well, well no, we stacked our lines. 40, so we stacked our line. Yes, we did. We, 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 put yeah. out the, we put out the power play unit. Yep. And then 45 seconds into the power play, Tyler takes a tripping penalty. Just, just a terrible penalty. Just yeah. not a very good penalty. Like, not smart hockey at all. 30 seconds later, Dan takes a high-sticking penalty. Questionable call. So, now... A minute and a half into our five-minute major. <laughs> we're four on three. We're four on three on the penalty kill. <laughs> oh, and that will lead us into everyone's favorite segment, the, the spoiled meat play of the week. All right, so here is our spoiled meat play of the week. <laughs> it is going to the whole team. Uh, yeah. The whole team. Oh, I don't, so I don't think we scored a power play goal. We did. We were even up when we scored. It was four on four when I scored yeah. that goal to make it two to two. So we had a five minute major, and the only time we scored was, was when it was four on four. Yep. Because they scored to make it, or wait, two nothing. They were up two nothing. I think. No, no, that no, was two to one. So we scored to make it two to, or I don't know how it worked. Whatever. Either way, we fucked up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good call. Good call. Yep. Yeah, five minute major stacked our lines. Instantly took two penalties. It was unbelievable. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> I was so pissed. I'm so pissed. <laughs> I love that spoiled meat picture. <laughs> eh. I was on. I was on a little bit of a time crunch. Garrett said he wanted to do a spoiled meat play of the week right before we started recording, so I just <laughs> found the first one I could find. Yeah, and it looks. I got. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Um. All right. So that's yeah. that's game recap. Anything else about? I mean, it's a tough way to end the season. Overall, I think we finished the season. 9 12 and 1. I think we're 9 12 and 1 yeah. right now. 
Yep. Um, last season. Not that we were, one. Not not that good. What? I think we were one game. We can't fact check, so we have no idea. Yeah, I know. I think we were one over five hundred. I will say we, we, we played, played. We played. We played some better. We we played a lot better teams this year. Yeah. Oh, yeah. no question about that. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So. Um. Anything else, boys? Not really. Tough Garrett, loss. you want to, Garrett? You want to get to your tease now? Or you want to get, get to it later? <laughs> Let's. We'll do it now. Okay. Uh, just, can we get rid of the raw meat? That's. I can't. I can't stop. I don't. I don't. I don't know if I can't. <laughs> Hold on. There you go. There you go. There we go. So, uh, what, I don't remember what, what brought it up. Well, our game doesn't mean anything on Sunday. Oh yeah. yeah. So so. Spoiler, might get some interesting uh, position. So if you play D, you want to play forward, let me know. You know or if you play forward, you want to play D. I'm going to be putting my Vesna on the line. Ooh. We'll say. With with the week left to with vote. The, the problem, with the, the week pro- left to vote. That shit. So, wait, so wait. I, really, shit, I am willing shit. to no, double, that, double my shutouts. <laughs> time out. That means I had to put a highlight video together for a consolation game. Yes. Yeah. It, I'm playing goalie. There it I, is. See, I, no, I'll tell you what. Right now, straight up, I'm not doing a highlight video for our if, consolation if, game. I'm I, not. If I play well, you got to put it together. If, at least. You, if you, okay, fine. And the, if you get a shutout, I will do one. That's or the only way I'm going to do Or if we win. No, I don't I care if happens. we win. I hope we, yeah, no, neither do I. I hope the, the game ends up in a tie, however however that works out, like be it us asking the team and we do a shootout because I want to do a shootout. That's <laughs> fully. <laughs> Garrett, I'll be blocking every single shot that I can for you next Sunday. Good. And that's what I expected. I, Garrett, I will be getting out of the way more than I normally do. <laughs> good, good. So give me that clear view. See, that's that's why we're a team. Tim's blocking shots. You're making sure that path is clear oh, so I can boy. do that. Shut out, <laughs> shut out Fred, shut out Fred line will be in Put the it building, on the line, ladies baby. and gentlemen. Oh boy. I still need to find goalie skates. <laughs> yeah, you do need to find goalie skates. Oh, but uh, player, you'll, you'll, you'll be okay with player skates. Yeah. I will say you'll be better off in player skates that fit you than goalie skates. That yeah, you oh yeah. No, what uh, what size are your skates? Uh, I think 10. I, mean, I don't know. I had to look at them. Maybe nine and a half. Cause I think they're kind of tight. So probably nine and a half. If I go up to play it against sports this week. Yeah. 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 Let me know. If uh, I'll look. Yeah. 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 But no. So the, 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 the tease where that came from is, Bray doesn't have his goalie protection protection from the gong goblet. If he plays like shit, that's right. If you that's if, he, if he's got it, if he plays a shitty game, Bray, which yeah. I think he's a point per game player when he skates out this year. Yeah, yeah, yep. Kind of like oh. my, my my shutout per game. <laughs> <laughs> little 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 different. A little bit different setting for either of those. I mean, you yeah. played in a street hockey game against a, a street hockey with- game where the like you're you get a, it, the scores are usually inflated in street hockey. That is we true. played we played people who I don't know have ever held a hockey stick before. Doesn't matter. Hockey game. It, dude, I was still making saves. They had that one guy that was actually decent. I was making saves. Was I was I not making saves? Garrett, is it your fault who we played? Can I plead can I plead the fifth? I like to, I like to plead uh, your the silence fifth. tells me everything I need I'm to know. Pleading, I'm pleading the <laughs> fifth. I ref- next I can, topic. <laughs> I can neither confirm nor deny. Okay, next topic. Easy enough. Thanks. <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. Uh, we can do this quick because this is who, who gives a shit. Phil still hurt. Phil feel better for next year. John. Okay. John. Next slide. John. Next slide. What's your excuse? <laughs> Good segment <laughs> this week, boys. <laughs> <laughs> this is such like postseason. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck we're gonna do now. I mean, obviously next week we'll we'll be talking about you playing goalie, but like I don't know. Like we're not we have not like a real game to talk about. We'll figure uh, something out. Who I mean, knows? We'll yeah. Who knows? All right, all right. So we got the playoff bracket. Obviously, yeah, we were eliminated five to three. So family PT plays dirty work, which there apparently is a little bit of bad blood between those two teams. So that yep. should be interesting. Yep. Because we both know dirty work likes to play a little chippy. So would you say dirty? <laughs> I did not. I did that. Did I did not say that specifically because I didn't want to make like a dad joke. So thank oh, you. Well, thank you for that. You know, um, I am what I am. <laughs> but so on the other side of the bracket, you did. Marcino CNS went to overtime. That was a good overtime. And our uh, friend of the program, Brett from CNS Motors, made like ten saves in the first yeah. two minutes of the overtime. It's a five-minute overtime. He probably made. 15 saves in 
the entire length of the overtime. Which, and I think it was done after like three minutes. Yeah, he, I think he was standing on his head. I mean, it was crazy. It was it was fun to watch. He was on his head. He was like throwing his arms and legs up and just like, they, but they just couldn't get Not the puck out of his own. Kind of what I expect to be like, you know, on Sunday. Wait, we should reach out to them and see if they want to switch their goalies too. Like have somebody I mean, that, else. That would that. be that would you you could do that. I don't have his number. I Poom Petty does. No, oh no, you, I would reach out to their rep. Well, I don't know. I don't have. I don't know who the rep is. I, I have a bunch of numbers. Brett might not even want to skate out. So yeah, I'm just saying. Yeah. I'll okay, text if, if, if Joe if Joe texts him and tells him that our goalie we're we're having one of our guys play goalie if they want to do the same and yeah, he wants to skate out. Yep. But obviously no. No hey, also, I'm sure well, if we talk to them and the refs, we could end the third period early and do a shootout if we wanted. Also, wait, time cool. out. We wouldn't even need to do that. We're the last game of the night. Yeah, but the, the, well, the only issue – well, yeah, we could just do it anyway. The refs don't have to be there. It would just be if they want a Zamboni. Yeah. I mean, it, would take, it would take an extra five minutes. If yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and, so. and honestly, for that, we should, we should have the people do the shootout on our team that never get a chance, just saying – Nobody or, wants. To, nobody wants to watch or, that, dude. We could just do like a. You could let you could let Bray shoot. Yeah, yeah, just let Bray shoot. Yeah, if Bray <laughs> shoots, and we have, uh, we may have another special guest. Let's let him shoot if he wants to shoot. And yeah. Poom Patty. No, he already went once, didn't he? No, no he didn't. No, he didn't no. go. Oh, yeah, there you the go. Time. Okay, there okay, you go. Okay, so that's our three. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. I like that. But yeah, shout out Mercino. Uh, they have SJM. That should be a good game. Are you guys planning on going to these games? I'm, I'm going to the eight o'clock one for sure. I would so. like, yeah, I probably won't be on a fun angle. Eh, maybe if I can leave us. Yeah, I might be able to make it there. Yeah, I'll probably, I'm, I'm going to try to make the, at least the second half of the dirty work game. Yeah, that's probably that's probably realistically what's going to happen. Watch the second half of the game and then watch the game before us for a little bit before we start getting yeah. ready. Yeah, that's usually about the time of night when I'm like either going to fall is. asleep or need to get up and go do something. So, yep. mm. okay. Who do you and, guys, uh, who do you guys think is going to win these two games? What's your what's your finals prediction? I think Tim predicted Mercino to come out of that bottom half of the bracket last week, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say Family PT and Mercino. You know, I think it's gonna be. I I would rather Family PT win, but I think Dirty Work is Mercino. I uh, I'm with uh, I'm with you on that one, Connor. I I don't know, man. It depends if SJM has those those guys show up. Those two college they kids. They may get roster checked. Shout so, out Mackenzie. The real question is, did they update the roster? I think Shout out Mackenzie at Crystal Fieldhouse, who apparently has been roster hounding teams, which Good. I which I love. Absolutely. I think yeah. I think that's awesome because there have been we there's there's been problems in the past, and I'm sure that's the same for every men's league. Oh yeah, where guys just bring them on for the playoffs or whatever, and they're not on the roster, which is shitty. This is my friend um, Devil Papsuk. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. He's exactly. been a goody dude his entire life. <laughs> Yes, I like Goody Tunes. <laughs> ignore, ig, ig, ignore the thick Russian accent. Yeah, <laughs> and the Red Wings he's, gear. He's from, yeah, yeah. He's from the east side of Flint. Yeah, he bought he bought his Red Wings gear secondhand online. Yeah, he, yeah, ignore that. <laughs> yeah, uh, his victory Honda bag. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so I got I got Dirty Work Marcino. Tim's got Family PT Marcino. Garrett, what was your final prediction? Uh, you know, yeah, I think it's going to be Dirty Work, and I, I'll stick with SJM. I think I had them them in the finals i think you did too i yeah. think you did too um so dirty work in sjm yeah i think no matter what i think that's gonna be a pretty solid game in the finals oh yeah no any of these four i think it's gonna be solid yeah and i like three of i ah, know i hit the back i like two of the four teams left i like three <laughs> yeah you I like, like three. three yeah i like i like mercino family pt and sjm i don't think any of them are dicks yeah, we had a little bit of problem with SJM a couple weeks ago, but I guess that wasn't us. Yeah. I guess that was the well, the ref thing. But. Yeah, we were fine. We didn't. Yeah, like, I guess. Yeah, I guess. They, I mean, they weren't playing bad. Like I didn't think. Yeah, they were yeah, you're right. Well. you're yeah. right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. All right. So good luck to those teams. That'll be this weekend. Then we'll have the finals next week. Um, last thing we got as far as this is concerned before we go into the uh, the end of the show shenanigans. Uh, so my dad. Booney is 58 and Garrett's dad, Harv is 67. 67. They yeah. both play in the 15 over on Monday nights at crystal field house. They're on the same team. It's very cute. Um, they had their last okay. playoff game this Monday. Um, 
it was kind of different from our playoffs. I won't go into the whole way it works, but <laughs> basically their game, their game didn't matter. Our dad's team was already advancing and the team they were playing was already eliminated. So the game didn't matter. So uh, it was six, nothing in like, like a minute and a half, two minutes to go in the game. There's a little bit of, I, you know what? I'll just put, I'll, I'll put the video in here. I just wanted to give a little bit of context before you watch the video. The game didn't matter. The game was almost over. Roll the video. So you can see my dad, the guy on the left and the white, had the puck, guy runs into him. I thought it looked like the guy, as he was falling, kind of like whipped his stick up and got him in the face. Yeah, so I think the initial contact was incidental. I don't think the guy really meant to run into him. I completely agree. I, can, I, don't, think, I don't think the man ran into him. The fleeing of the stick, man, that's, it looks bad. And, and so, and here's the thing. One, my dad has the puck. He doesn't have to get out of that guy's way. Oh, yeah, yeah. So if that guy doesn't want to get hit, get out of the way. Two, I thought the flinging of the stick was pretty was pretty bad. So, like father, like son, this was me. I think two and a half years ago. Yeah, I got a I got a stick. A uh, guy went to lift my stick, missed. This is back when I still wore a visor. Uh, went to lift my stick, missed, and caught me uh, seven stitches, I believe. Hey, shout out, shout out uh, your cousin Roman for shout doing out, nothing. Shout out Dr. Roman for getting for, his stitch fairs. Yeah. He said, and I quote, Connor, I would be able to help you if I had my go bag. To which I replied, Romy, <laughs> where's your go bag? And he said, it's in my apartment. And I said, what fucking good is your go bag doing in your apartment, <laughs> Roman? Oh, Jesus. So shout out Roman. So anyway, so obviously my dad, this, this, this last Monday night, stick to the face. <laughs> Eleven, <laughs> eleven stitches. Damn. He said he had. He got the the doctor that that stitched him up poked him at least fifteen times with like the numbing shit. Yeah. And he still like when he got towards the top, like nah. towards his nose, oh. he was still he could like feel it. And I was like, yeah, it's crazy when you have when you get like stitches on like your lip and stuff, you can like feel the string like going through your skin. It's cra- it, It's horrible. It's horrible. So. Yeah, he definitely looks tougher than you. I'll just say it. I know. I, I, that's why I told him. I was like, really? You had to one-up me? Are you serious? I got seven. You had to get 11. You had to get a big, <laughs> old, te- a big old scar. Technically, you're four up to you. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I guess. But, uh, so yeah, like five, like son. Uh, I, I, I told him, I said, we have an extra cage in the basement if you want to wear that. He said, now I'm good. So, I don't think he's – Oh, mean, he's, boy. Uh, you know. Playoffs, um, baby. Hey, so, it's 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 well, no, it's just – Stitch is going to be out before – so they they dissolve. I would uh, be very uh, surprised that they were going to be gone by next Monday. By this right. Monday. I'd be surprised. So is he playing? Oh uh, yeah, he's playing. <laughs> he's fine. I mean, yeah. I mean, he looks. Oh yeah. I told I told Garrett before we started recording. He looks like a Simpsons character. His lips are fucking huge. <laughs> so it's pretty funny. But uh, yeah, I mean, he's all right. I was pissed because like my. One I got, the nurse did a great job, and so mine healed up. I was, like, really hoping for a sweet hockey scar, but I didn't get one. I think he might get one. He's going to get one. I think he's going to get one. This is a lot more, like, open. Yeah. Yeah. So. I mean, because you probably – he probably took that literally about, like, the same time frame after the incident that you did, too. Yeah, I think so. I think that's when – so he – this is crazy. So he goes to Genesis, local hospital. Mm-hmm. He waited for two and a half hours and still wasn't even close to getting called. So we went online, made an appointment at McLaren and Fenton, went down there and got in at 10 minutes after, after he got there. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, I don't uh, really understand the, the healthcare system. <laughs> so <laughs> da, yeah. Uh, John, if you could let us know what yeah, the hell's going on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would be, that would be great. We, we would, we, we would yeah, greatly I have insurance. It. Yeah. So. <laughs> Uh, all right, boys. Hey, real question, actually. Yeah. Did uh, USA <laughs> Hockey do anything for him there? Uh, I don't know, but they didn't when I got mine. I be yeah, okay. I'm just curious because they always tell you, "Oh, you have insurance when you play hockey." Like, oh. I would, I could check with him and see. I, I would be surprised if he put it because he has full insurance, so I don't think he paid for it anyway. But I don't know if. I mean, I would be. Oh, surprised. USA Hockey picked I that also, up first, I or would it be? I also don't know if their league. 
has USA Hockey, to be honest with you. I don't know if they did or not because they're all 50. So, like, oh, well, that's true. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't think USA Hockey covers like, I mean, well, I don't know. Yeah. Um, quick reminder before we get into the nonsense the Goonie Tune Awards voting is still open. Uh, I could check and see how many responses we have, but last I checked, it wasn't a ton. It was like 16 or 17. And we had 116 views on last week's episode. So those numbers just don't match up. Um, I will put the link in the description of, I bet you there's a lot of people that don't have Gmail accounts. That's probably there's what it no, is. if they don't make <laughs> one, it takes it three is. minutes. They to make, make, one. <laughs> make one, deal with it. Um, <laughs> but you have until next Thursday, the 17th St. Patty's day, at which point the voting will close and we will tally the submissions. Um, Unless Connor is losing in the MVP no, vote, no, then it, no, it'll get extended no, another day. Until he can make enough. No, <laughs> no. I'm a man of honor. I will say there are quite a few very close races, even though we've only had 16 Good. submissions. So uh, and a couple of interesting uh, responses. Vesna's going to be uh, a couple of <laughs> yeah. Vesna, well, that, Vesna might that's be probably tight. why people haven't voted yet. I get the, yeah, they yeah. didn't know Garrett was going to play goalie <laughs> next week. There's no way that's the out. reason. Holding out because they knew we had two games. I'm left. glad. I'm glad I already submitted my response. <laughs> I'm glad. Um, but yeah, get your votes in. Feel free to forward them to all your family and friends. I know Tim was like making his daughter make a Gmail account so that she could vote for him and all that. She mess. already has one. Okay, for sure, for sure, for sure. Remember to um, vote for daddy. <laughs> yeah. Also, just a quick like programming note. We will have episodes the next two weeks. So next week, we'll obviously cover the semifinals and our consolation game. And then the following week, we'll cover the finals and our last game of the season and do uh, that'll be the week of the award show. So that'll be like a big, long, super long episode, hopefully uh, yeah. a lot of fun. And then we will be I think our plan was to like do one, maybe two episodes a month in the off season. Um, just kind of get on, catch up, might do some more uh, all-star super drafts with various guests and different topics just to do something. Um, yep. But obviously without games, we're not going to be doing episodes every week. And also I need a fucking break from all of the shit I have to do for this goddamn show. So yeah, we got a lot same. of shenanigans during the summer too. Like the happy yeah. thing. That'll be a nice little. Uh, uh-huh. Yeah. We're working on the, de- working on the details for that. We're possibly doing a, uh, a full on Goonie tunes, invitational outing at the end of the summer so make sure we talk about that and bring that up and let everybody know about that um but yeah i just want to let people know so they you know they knew what to expect going going forward into the, the spring and the for summer all 116 listeners yeah for all 116 <laughs> listeners. yeah i mean we have we'll I mean, that's, that's still that still that still blows my mind that i we have like 116 people to yeah. watch last in a week like i think most of our episodes are like the, at that after like a couple months yeah but yeah, yeah. after that after six days is is crazy so, um, you guys have anything else? Yeah, I had one thing. Okay. Um, have you guys heard of the Missing Curfew podcast? I've heard of it. Yes. Okay, it, pretty good. Uh, pretty solid hockey podcast. Um, not quite spit and chicklets level, but probably right below it. Um, uh, quick hour and a half listen once a week. They uh they interviewed uh Pecorine, you know, after his jersey retirement and all that stuff. Oh. So, and they're talking about growing up, you know. He would actually, uh, he said he would actually carry a baseball glove around in a ball and would throw it off the wall and practice Shut catching. up. I Shut swear to God. Up. I swear that to God. That doesn't, no, we're not. Do you want, do you want to bring this up I'm again? not trying to, I'm not trying to bring the argument Are you trying back? to rile? No, no, because you, I'm, I rewatched that. You backpedaled like such a little I did baby not. the whole time. No, I did not. All you, all you had to do was just take a hard line. Even if you didn't fully believe it, just for the sake of the, sh- of the show and of the episode and of the court, all you had to do was just, <laughs> all you, all you had to do was just take. Settled. A, hey, we settled it. I know, but let me, it's all done. you had to do I, was take I a hard line stance out. and be like, fuck you, Connor. Being a catcher would have made, will make me a better goalie. And just like argue just for the sake of the show. But you couldn't even do that. You had to be like, I didn't say that. No, it, because you, you were saying. I would be a good goalie because I was a good catcher. No, I said I, the opposite. No, that's what that's what you were saying. I was saying, which I never said that. Okay, but that's what I wanted you to say right. for the sake order, of the show. Order, order, order. I'm throwing you both out of my court for being. Oh no! Right okay, bye, yeah. Judge. We'll talk no. to you later. <laughs> Quit bitching. Easy there, easy there, Judge Judy. Yeah. yeah. Hey, nice, don't, nice, nice. I nice, just got this permed. Okay. Nice child size wig. <laughs> 
Hey, I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, you would think that. Maybe I'll uh, wear it uh, Sunday. No, you're not wearing it Sunday. <laughs> uh, hey, can I borrow that for Sunday? <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, are we, doing, uh, are we doing the... Uh, I don't think so. I don't think no. so. No, okay. Fair enough. I don't think so. Um, all right, I got a question for you guys because this has started to happen to me recently. Have you guys ever been a regular at like a bar or a restaurant? You know what I mean? Yeah, I used to live yes. across from a bar. Yeah. So you were, so they like recognized you when you walked in? Have you ever heard of a uh, skaters bar and grill? <laughs> yeah. Okay. You know what I, but okay. <laughs> Besides, yeah. That. Yeah. Besides <laughs> that. Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So do you think it's cool or sad? I think it's, I don't think it's, I don't think it's sad. sad. I think it's just, that's where I spent most of my time. I, I, I will say like my house. Like obviously Red Baron is right by our house. We'll go. We, we, Got good service from this uh, server, so we started asking for her. Okay, what would you say if I told you that somebody I knew, hypothetically, was a regular at the Pot Belly on Miller Road in Flint? Because they, <laughs> because they go there, because they go there twice a week for lunch, order the same thing, and so now the people that work there know my order, know my name, and like, yeah, I, I, wrong with I, that. I mean, the Luigi's. Everybody knows the Fred lines at Luigi's. Yeah, but again, that's a, that's like an actual I don't restaurant. Think We're talking like I go through the drive through and I've ordered the same thing so many times the last three oh, months. Well, you you preface it as a bar, like a bar. Well, is I, so that's I was trying to I was trying to slowly work my way into. Do you know yeah, what pot, weird. Do you know what pot belly is? I have no idea. It's what a sandwich it is. place, it's, right? It's, yeah, it's, it's uh-huh. like a sandwich shop. Yeah. It's like a like a more upscale Subway kind of. Um, uh, okay. It's like oh, a I deli, think, yeah. like a not. What do you get? It's like a kind of like a Jersey Mike's, I guess would be a better. No, no, better no, but what do you get? You said you I get the Italian. On okay. white bread, yeah. all toppings except for the tomato. Okay. Weird. Well, so I get to pick your pair, which is half a sandwich and a cup of soup. Ugh. They have pretty good soup. Yeah, you just never know how long soup's been sitting around. They're pretty. I mean, I like it. Yeah. I know it's always. Oh, they, they have chili and they have good mac and cheese. And I got a bag of chips. It's mac and cheese. That's my. That's my order every. So I go. I I, I pull up and I say, uh, uh, They say, "What do you like?" And I say, "I'll have the pick your pair." Uh, what kind of sandwich would you like? I'll have an Italian on white bread. And then they go, oh, hey, Connor. <laughs> so, like, the next question is, do you ever just go up there and be like, it's Connor, the usual? I could. Yeah. Oh, I, I could. But the problem is I order a different. So I could say, it's Connor. Can I get, I, I will try that. I will go there tomorrow there and I will yep. try it. And then the, I hopefully they'll say, what soup what would you like soup? today? Yeah. What chips? Because I get different, di- di- different chips and different soup every, oh, every okay. time I go. Mix it up a little bit. Oh, yeah. They have a couple. They have those Zaps chips. You know what Zaps? Like the brand. It's mm-hmm. not like they have like a jalapeno, like a voodoo heat. The voodoo heat is really, really good. That's what that's yeah. what I get more like than anything else. They used to have like Doritos and Sun Chips, but they got rid of those and I was kind of pissed. So I don't like Sun Chips. Also, every time I go to the drive through window, there's like a little thing that says become a member and get a free sandwich on your next trip. And I still have not done it. That's a rookie move. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Every time I'm like, I can't, I can't, like I'm a regular. I can't be a member. <laughs> I just, I just can't. A regular, a regular plus. <laughs> yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Oh boy, anything else, boys? Going to the Wings game tonight as this. Oh, oh just slam my knee on my table. Uh, going to the Wings game tonight as everyone is listening to this. Me, Reader, Embry, and uh, Tyler. Nice. They, did, they, they happen to be playing the Wild, so that's a cool coincidence. Definitely didn't plan that or anything. Yeah. And yeah, it's Star Wars night. Yeah. So that'd be a good time. I'm excited for that. If you see, if anybody, if anybody's down, if anybody's down at the Wings game, make sure you give us a shout out. Yeah. All of our fans. That are hey, make sure you get a couple subscribers while you're at the game. Tim, that's the standard. Tim got one when he was at the Michigan. Yep. I'll leave that up to the other three that are with me. I'm not <laughs> going to be doing that. I don't know if I have enough like social shame to do that. Like, <laughs> Alcohol helps. Yeah. Now, yeah. I don't know if I, I, I beer at hockey games is insane. Yeah, it's insane. Eight bucks um, for, yeah. If we're lucky, if we're lucky, yeah. it's eight bucks. I don't know. Bring a bring a pink pink Whitney down there and have a few shots before you go in. Okay. Awesome. Thanks, frat bro. Appreciate it. What do you think? Tim's on a Friday night. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. What Tim, I know what Tim does on a Friday night. Hangs out with the frat kids. Hangs out with the frat kids. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> exactly. Last like last like three weeks, you've been like, yeah, man, the earliest I've gone, I've gone to bed is like 5 a.m. because I'm hanging out with all the, the A-League guys, all the frat guys at Kettering, the A-League guys. <laughs> Trying to trying to relive his youth, Garrett. I don't want to say it's a midlife. That. I don't want I to say it's that. a midlife yeah. crisis, but we're getting pretty we're getting pretty close. Pretty damn close for Tim. Yeah. That's all right. Everybody everybody goes through it, Tim. It's not a big deal. Tim, is that a tough mutter shirt? Did you do the tough? Tim, is this, this is a podcast? I need you to respond verbally so the people that are <laughs> listening can, can, no, can I, no, no. No, I said it is. Uh oh, internet's unstable. Did you? Uh, oh no. <laughs> yeah, I've done uh, three of them really yep did you like it uh i'd say more yes than no hmm. there's a couple of the mud less for the tough yeah <laughs> tim's a mud boy roll around the mud tim just like excuse me sir can i just do the mud parts of this i'll do all the mud stuff twice if i don't have to do the tough <laughs> Will you call me the mud, the mud bash bro? His, <laughs> his mother was a mother. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, where'd you are there? They have a couple in Michigan, don't they? That would be a fun weekend for the boys. I say fun, but like I not, not, eh. <laughs> how long how long did do they take? Um, so I did it with my buddy Sean, all three of them. Sean. 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 Yep. We weren't necessarily in peak physical uh, performance when we did them. But you are so, now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd say it probably took us like four and a half hours. Holy, that is way but longer than I thought you were going to say. I, I will say a lot of it was See, you, ha you have to wait at some of the obstacles. Yeah. I No, I know it's an obstacle, but four and a half hours is a very long time to it's, be running I mean, it's 10 obstacles. miles. It's 10 miles with like oh, 20 it's, some obstacles. Oh, I didn't realize it was that long. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. What are some of the obstacles? Like running, um, up, a, like running up a ramp? Yeah. One was like running up a uh, like a half pipe. Oh. Uh, one was like climbing up this 50 foot net. And can you, can you elect to skip obstacles if you don't want to? Yeah, you can. Them? Yep. You actually can. So we actually, the like second time the we did it. Jared just goes, he gets a little muddy, and then he goes to the end and starts drinking. <laughs> Where's my t-shirt? <laughs> yeah. You get, a, you get a beer afterwards, too. All right, what was, your, what was your favorite and least favorite obstacle when you did it? Uh, I would say my least favorite was they had, um, you go underwater but they had a fence. So you can't actually poke your head out of the water. So you had like maybe like three inches to, to like breathe and crawl across underneath the fence. Oh, I had a little panic attack in that. Yeah. I really, um, I would say the, my favorite one would probably be, I don't know. There's a couple cool ones. Um, one, they had like a, I don't know, maybe it's like 75 foot in the air. Like you go up and it was a big, big ass slide. You slide down and I, that was kind of fun. Tim, Tim, like the big <laughs> slide. Yeah. <laughs> they have like rope, rope swings yeah. and like tire crawls. And Tim's like, I like the big slide. <laughs> I like turtles. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. That's awesome. Uh, That's so... <laughs> You could, I never would have known there was a big slide. You could have gone something with completely different. You're like, nah, I like the big slide. <laughs> it went, I went fast. Yeah. <laughs> I got muddy after. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, boys. Anything else? I think that's it for me. Garrett, yeah. Garrett looks like he's ready to go. Garrett looks tired. H hard hard to believe hard. hockey season's almost over. Two more weeks. Two more weeks. It's been a good year. It was a good yeah. year. It's beginning fun. the beginning of the year, you say, "Oh wow, we got like twenty four games in yeah. uh, half a year." It's like, "Holy shit, just about over." Yeah, yeah. I know, I know. Nice Stay with the barn, of... barn. Uh, we start barn playoffs next week. We should start. Yeah, I forgot to talk about the barn playoffs. Yeah, yeah. we got smoked this week. Yeah. Oh well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's not smoked. It was it was third. It was thirteen to ten. 
So I wasn't. What, uh, what's the format for the playoffs? I have no idea. I don't know what the schedule is. It sounds oh. like they're going to do some games on Monday, and then the our finals are supposed to be on Tuesday, maybe it sounds like. Ew. I know, which sucks because I will either have to skip golf or skip the championship, either, you know, which is kind of shitty both ways. Yeah. Um, so I don't, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm sure he wants to wrap it up and yeah, I think we'll, so we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll, and... we'll definitely be done this week. This is the last week of the, of the barn. So. Oh, oh, so it's going to be like Monday, then to like the following the fi- day. Yes. The next oh, day. I thought it would be like, they have like another week and it's no, 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 okay. no, 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 but I mean, way. you figure it's probably what it was 40 when I left work today. So it probably got up to 50 today. No, I stayed about 40 the whole day. So I, mean, I was, it's, I was it's outside pretty much up. all day when, I mean, when, when the sun's out, it, it feels a little warmer, but it was pretty yeah. windy and it wasn't, it didn't get that warm today. Um, but yeah, so we'll let everybody know about the barn. Uh, next week we will talk about shut out Fridline's first real game as a goalie. Um, Played in mites. What's that? played in mites oh i played in mites okay yeah fun fact and this is my dad and i realized this uh our my coach was mike manley (laughs) oh the shark the shark you don't play no 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 and 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 my team name was manly and manly sharks (laughs) ah let's go i was that's awesome yes i was so trying to find the jersey because my mom keeps everything but i think we actually threw that out but it was just like we were sitting down watching TV and then their commercial came on and my dad goes, cause I said like, I said, Hey Leo, look, dad's old hockey coaches on TV. My dad just kind of chucked. He's like, Hey, weren't you guys the sharks when you were? <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> we were. Anybody, anybody that doesn't live in Genesee County is not, is no like idea not going to yeah. get that reference, which is yeah. honestly even funnier. Yeah. Though if you're not living in, if you don't live in Genesee County and you listen to this show, please comment and tell us why and how you found out about it. Cause we would <laughs> love to know. Um, but yeah, that's hilarious. Yeah. Yep. That's awesome. So yeah, and that's that was the last time I played goalie was mites for manly and manly sharks. Here we go. We're gonna yeah. we're gonna get you a shutout against CNS Motors. I like it for I sure. Like it. Um, all right, boys. Nothing else. That'll do it for this week. Uh shout out week to everybody. Left to vote. Yeah, week left to vote. Yep. Uh I will make sure I put the link in the description again, like I did last week, so you can click on it nice and easy. Um you don't have a Gmail, make a Gmail. Just do it. Don't, don't, don't. I told you. I told you. Here, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see how many responses we have right now before before we go. I know we're trying to wrap up, but I'm gonna see how many responses. Oh, we have. let don't, the people go, Connor. Let the me. people go. I have ni- 19 responses right now. 19. It's more. I would like. I would like. I would like to get to 50. I know that's a high number. I would, well, we have, while we have, while you're at the Red Wings game. We have, like, we, have <laughs> set, we have 70 subscribers and we had 116 net views last week. I would like to get to at least 50 votes. That's yeah. where I'm putting our, that's where I'm putting the standard. Excuse so. me, sir. Do you have a Gmail account? Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to be dressed out in full wild gear. I'm not going to yeah. people and ask them to, to take my, my survey. Team, my, my hockey team. <laughs> take my <laughs> survey. There's going to pick random names and just. Well, hey, so Tyler's going. I have a so chance for <laughs> If Tyler wants to do some work and do some recruiting. If that's how gonna... he needs to win his MVP, then he can. <laughs> I'll just say that. All right, boys, that's it. That was episode 27. As always, thanks, everybody, for listening, for watching, for liking, for subscribing. We love you. We appreciate it. And we will talk to you next week. And as always, go Goonie Tunes. Peace. other beer league hockey news that's all for today we'll see you next week on toon talk